I came to London in 1976 from Zimbabwe, where I joined the Royal Ballet School. And after a year at the school, I got into the Royal Ballet Company, which was a dream come true. And I've been in the company ever since. My absolute favorite dancing role was Empress Elizabeth in Kenneth Macmillan's Myling. And uh, another favorite role now that I mainly do character roles is Lady Capulet in Kenneth Macmillan's Romeo and Juliet. The dance that inspired me most was the legendary Lynn Seymour. I was lucky enough to see both Margot Fontaine and uh, Rudolf Nureyev dancing with the Royal Ballet because they were still performing uh, in the company when I joined. Um, and I was very fortunate to be coached by uh, Rudolf Nureyev in his uh, production of Raymonda. Um, and I have many stories about uh, Margot Fontaine. I will never forget her, um, her grace, her elegance. Uh, she was always immaculate, both on and off the stage, and most of all for her humility. I started uh, dancing very late when I was 14, and I just did uh, most of my career here, but I started in Paris Opera, so I was in Paris living for two years, and then I joined the Royal Ballet and I finished my career as a dancer with the Royal Ballet. My favourite role was Manon Lesko, I would say. Manon will be the one that I will like to do mostly. The tall ballerinas have always inspired me, but somebody like Sylvie Guillem, Darcy Bussell, of course, were you know, my role models. But then I got really inspired by the ones who really had a soul also when they danced. My career in ballet was quite long. I was with the Royal Ballet for 23 years. It was uh, the golden years of ballet with Margot Fontaine and Rudolf Nureyev at the helm when I joined as a young Corps de Ballet member. It was an extraordinary time. We had the great Sir Frederick Ashton, then Nanette de Valois, who was my teacher at school. She was the founder of the Royal Ballet. Um, so we were um, subjected to the best choreographers and people to aspire to the great dancers of, um, of the 60s. My favourite role that I've ever danced was a role uh, called Natalia Petrovna in A Month in the Country, uh, choreographed by Sir Frederick Ashton. And, um, I danced that with um, Anthony Dahl, who was a wonderful, wonderful partner. My favorite costume that I've worn, without doubt, a month in the country, Julia Trevelyan Omen designed the sets and the costumes, and it was incredibly feminine and flowing and beautiful. The dancer who inspired me most in my career was Rudolf Nureyev, because he was a great, great teacher and communicator. He was able to completely see into you, understand how your mind worked and was then able to um, give you what you needed technically and emotionally to do. He wasn't easy, he was an absolute nightmare, very um, temperamental and dramatic, but extraordinary insight and knowledge. Very, very, very intelligent man he was able to really guide you. I started at the Royal Ballet School at the age of 11 and then I went all the way through the school and joined the company at the age of 18, I think. And I've been there for 25 years, so it's been quite a, quite a long stint there. <laughs> I think one of my favourites is Paulina from The Winter's Tale, Christopher Wielden's one, because I think you sort of see the whole curve of the character and she sort of narrates the whole piece. So she's there at the beginning and then has this amazing solo right at the end. So I think that's probably a highlight. 
I get to wear some fabulous costumes because I'm, I'm often the queen, so I'm often sat in a throne a bit like this, um, in some extraordinary kind of very big costumes, which generally as dancers you don't often wear. 